As interest in Mezcal continues to increase, the involvement of multinational liquor companies will also continue to increase. That's how our economy works. We demand it, they supply it. The problem is that to supply enough Mezcal to satisfy this global demand, they have to secure the source material for making Mezcal, the agave. And unlike the plants used to make every other alcohol we consume, it takes more than a single season, more than four to six months for agave to reach maturity. It takes, in fact, at least four years for agave to reach harvest age. Since it's hard to project what demand for mezcal will look like in four years, those companies are buying up agave farms in Oaxaca. That's what they have to do in order to fulfill this ever-increasing global demand for mezcal. It's simply how business works. But those agave farms they're buying, they're the same ones from which small families have, for decades, been sourcing their agaves. This is leaving them without the ability to carry on their cultural heritage. Without agave, how can you make agave spirits? With this in mind, Sacred has been providing these families with agave seedlings. It's not an answer for right now. Those seedlings, they can take as much as 12 years to reach maturity, but it is a light at the end of the tunnel. So where does Sacred get these seedlings? There's a middle school in the Oaxacan community of Zachila where students are learning to grow agave from seed. It's an agricultural class. Sacred purchases 10,000 seedlings a year and gifts them to mescaleros and agave farmers in lots of 500 to 750 seedlings. The community of Zachila, 25 minutes south of Oaxaca Centro, includes the city's largest garbage dump. It's what drew families here. They squat on the dump and mine it for recyclables. Selling those recyclables is how they make money. That community is some 12 to 15,000 people. And because they're squatting, they don't receive the same level of government support that other communities receive. One consequence is that this middle school, Telesecundaria El Manantial, ran out of water back in 2017. The teacher of the agricultural class solved this problem by changing the curriculum to focus on a plant it doesn't need a lot of water, agave. After the first crop of seedlings was harvested and replanted into individual bags with soil, the school contacted Seconda, a Oaxacan nonprofit that supports projects and communities populated by these informal recyclers. Seconda, who'd already received some small grants from Sacred, contacted us to see if we had any interest in the plants. Hemos encontrado posibilidades de conjuntar esfuerzos entre la organización Sacred y Sicanda. En este sentido, hemos encontrado la posibilidad de hacer sostenible un proyecto que está respaldado por una secundaria telesecundaria y que está basado en la producción de agaves. We've been purchasing at least 10,000 tobala seedlings from them annually ever since at 1 US dollar per seedling. That's more than the going rate in Oaxaca but we're glad to provide the school with that extra support. Para todo proyecto se requiere de un recurso económico, ¿no? Para libros, para muebles, para mejorar la tecnología y que el alumno tenga pues esas clases eh, que ahorita más en tiempo de pandemia, las clases virtuales, todo eso nosotros queremos mejorarlo a través del proyecto de la GAVE, ¿no? Porque nos va a, nos va generando sobre todo un recurso económico y de verdad que nosotros como institución, como personal, como alumnos, como padres de familia, estamos pues agradecidos por ese apoyo por la organización Sacred. 
la organización SICANDA, el esfuerzo de los alumnos, de los padres de familia y de los compañeros que nos ha unido en, para bien, para bien de la educación, para bien de la zona. Eh, no pensamos dejarlo hasta acá, pensamos seguir trabajando porque la educación que nosotros de, vamos, estamos impartiendo y que queremos para los próximos años es que se mejore, que los jóvenes de esta zona dejen esa parte de, que están ahorita en el olvido por la misma zona en la que nosotros trabajamos. La verdad existe pues mucha drogadicción, desempleo, eh, falta de ese compromiso tanto del alumno como de los padres de familia para eh, estar en una institución educativa. Entonces nosotros todo eso lo, lo queremos que, que haya un cambio. If you'd like to help Sacred continue this program, or better still, help us replicate it in other recycler communities, please visit sacred.mx and make a tax-deductible donation. You'll be helping families continue their multi-generational cultural heritage, and at the same time, you'll be providing educational resources in some of Oaxaca's communities of greatest need.